The homeopathic system of medicine owes its origin to a great German physician, Dr. Christian Frederick Samuel Hahnemann. In India, it was introduced in 1839 by a French visitor, Dr. John Martin Honigberger, who successfully treated Maharaja Ranjit Singh of Punjab then. In India, after independence, in 1947, homeopathy started gaining popularity as one of the safe systems for treatment. In an approach to adopt and to recognize homeopathy as one of the systems of medicine under the National Health Care Program and to provide the public standard homeopathic medicines, the Government of India, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in 1962, as a first step, constituted a homeopathic pharmacopoeia committee for laying down measures for quality control of homeopathic drugs. Subsequently, to achieve the said goal through laying down standards of identity, purity and implementation of such standards for making available quality homeopathic drugs, the Government of India established the Homeopathic Pharmacopoeia Laboratory in 1975. Homeopathic Pharmacopoeia Laboratory is a national high-tech scientific technological and research institution also recognized by the Department of Science and Technology. For homeopathic drugs, it is functioning as a central drug laboratory under Rule 3A of the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and as a government analysis laboratory for the whole of India. Quality and standards of homeopathic drugs are governed under the second schedule of the Drugs and Cosmetic Act 1940. The laboratory stands for standards, purity and quality on homeopathic drugs prepared on the principle of similia similibus curantur. The Organon of Medicine, published on Philosophy of Homeopathy, aphorism 122, spells out that no other medicine should be employed except such as are perfectly well known and whose purity, genuineness and energy are thoroughly assured. The laboratory is duty bound to achieve this. Efforts put in by this laboratory help the government to release mandatory standards for identity, quality and purity of homeopathic drugs as Homeopathic Pharmacopoeia of India in its subsequent volumes time to time. Besides laying down standards for identity, purity and quality of drugs and testing of drug samples, the laboratory is maintaining a unique medicinal plant garden where efforts are made to maintain plants from all over the world so as to make plant raw material easily available when needed. Orientation programs in analysis of homeopathic drugs on an all India basis, both for central and state government drug inspectors, analysts and manufacturers are conducted twice a year. Survey sampling and verification studies are done to educate erring manufacturers. Documentation Museum and herbarium form the backbone of the laboratory. Plants collected from all over the world are maintained for comparative and cross-reference studies in a museum and herbarium. Special efforts to maintain germplasm bank where live seeds of varieties of indigenous, rare and exotic specimens are made. Besides medicinal plants, homeopathic drugs are also prepared from sources like animals, chemicals, minerals, and metals. It is surprising that bacteria which cause disease are also a valuable source of preparation of some homeopathic medicines called nosodes. Certain body secretions also form a source of drugs as sarcodes. 
Besides these, energy, like X-rays, are also used to prepare drugs as imponderabilia. Raw material for laying down standards are collected from different sources, either through survey or through reputed firms, dealing in them or medicinal plant gardens or scientists elsewhere in the world. But before they are used, they are put through strenuous screening for their correct identity. During the process, help from foreign scientists and institutions are also sought. It is essential to control both the quality of raw material as well as the quality of the finished product to achieve the target. For enforcement of strict quality control norms, there is a need for a multidisciplinary approach which is taken care of by HPL and its different sections vis-a-vis -vis departments of pharmacognosy, homeopathy, phytochemistry, microbiology and pharmacology. Before any work pertaining to standardization is initiated, the Department of Homeopathy plays a very crucial role in suggesting the correct name of the raw drug to be used, including the exact name of the genus and the species used in case of plant or animal drugs. The Department of Homeopathy also suggests method of preparation of finished products from the raw materials. Whatever raw drug is studied for standardization purposes, a part thereof is preserved in the museum. Samples of raw drugs, whether of plant, animal or any other origin used in homeopathy, collected from different parts of the world, are maintained in the museum either in a dried form or in FAA for cross-reference and comparative studies. For preservation, large specimens are cut into small lots without disturbing their morphological identity, air-dried and then kept in museum jars along with naphthalene balls. For preservation in the natural state, the material is preserved usually in FAA solution containing formaldehyde, acetic acid and alcohol in the ratio 90 is to 5 is to 5. In case of animal origin specimens, they are preferably preserved as such in FAA. Chemicals and metals are always preserved dry, except wherever prescribed. Herbarium includes preservation of plants in their natural state, in the dried form, including all parts, pasted preferably on handmade thick white paperboard after it is identified for future reference studies. But before it is done, the plant material is treated thoroughly with a fungicide or insecticide and then thoroughly dried. The name of the field member and site is also recorded in the herbarium. Thus, complete morphological characters for identification are recovered which form part of the standards of the set plant. Microscopical characters form an essential part of standards. Such studies are done both in the case of plants and animal specimen. For this purpose, specimen are cut in small pieces and revived, if dried, by heating in water which is 60 degrees to 70 degrees centigrade. It is then fixed for a few days in FAA. Then, washed with 70% alcohol. and subsequently processed with the help of automatic tissue processor for dehydration using different grades of alcohol, 90% and 100%. To get better results after absolute alcohol, different grades of alcohol and butanol, 3 is to 1, 2 is to 2 and 1 is to 3 is used. And finally,